talking the talk, but you're not walking the walk, that's your scripture. That one's for you. If you're if you're talking a good lip service, if you're giving a good a good name game, but you're not walking it and you're not doing it, then you don't know Jesus. You may think you do, because you come here on Sunday, or you go to another church on Sunday, or you have a Bible riding around in the dashboard of your truck, or you got a, a couple of little fish on the back of your tailgate, or you've got a cross in the back window. You may think you know Jesus, but if you're not living by his word, you don't know Jesus. And on the day that you come to get to know Him, you're going to wish you'd known Him a little bit better. Alright? Because that's where, that's where you're going to find yourself in the goat pen. Remember, we don't want to be in the goat pen. We want to be with the sheep. You don't want to be with the goats. So quit being a goat. Quit trying to lead somebody astray. Change your life. Do what you need to do to live strong. Live in God's Word. Do the best. We're not going to be perfect. Come on. None of us are perfect. We're not going to be perfect to the day we get to heaven. Let's just be honest. It's not going to happen. We can try, though. We can do what the Bible asks us to do, and that's try to live by Jesus the best we can each and every day of our life. Lead somebody else, make a disciple, bring them to God's Word, get them to know Jesus. But we can't do that if we're just giving lip service to everybody. We actually have to be out there doing something. Working hard. Working hard for Jesus, God. God's kingdom. The glory of it all. Okay? That's what we need to be working for. Not, not, not just trying to lead somebody astray, making them, making them think that you're somebody you're not, causing them to stumble, and then kicking back and laughing at them when they're watering in the bottom of a ditch. Come on. That's not what it's about. We're here to help. We're here to love on people. We're here to teach people about Jesus. That, I don't know how else to say it. If you're going to talk the talk, you've got to walk the walk. You got to. You just have to. I don't know how to explain it any better than the scriptures that we've read or any scripture we've ever read in here. You got to do it. Or you're not going to get to where you're going. I want to see everybody on the other side when it's time to go. When Jesus rides down on that cloud and he starts pulling people out of here for the rapture, I don't want you to be left behind. Amen. I want you to be with us when we go. See all of our loved ones who are already there. I want you to be there with me. But we got to change. we got to change. We can't just keep moseying through life and showing up on Sunday and thinking everything's good and leaving your Bible sitting in the truck. we got to change. we got to read the Word. we got to live the Word. It's, it's God's living Word, right? We've understood that, it, that we can read this Scripture today and it means something that when we read it again tomorrow, it's going to mean something different. It changes according to your life, how you feel. God's got something different to tell you each and every day, but if you're not ready to listen, how are you going to understand? How are you going to get there? How, what are you going to do to lead somebody to God? How are you going to make a disciple out of someone just by giving lip service? And then they see your car down there, Murphy's on six. Every night. Every night. Come on. If you're going to talk the talk, you got to walk the walk. I know we're running out of time, probably, but i got a uh, little past time. Turn, I, I don't want you to, uh, I don't want you to, I want you to write this down. Psalms 51. I want you to read the whole thing tonight at home. But i gotta, I got one scripture that, that I need to pull out of here and give to you. Psalm 51, uh, verse 16 through 17 says, uh, Lord, you do not desire a sacrifice or I would offer one. You do not want a burnt offering. The sacrifice you desire is a broken spirit. You will not reject a broken spirit, spirit and a repentant heart. That's all God's asking. Repent from your sins. Okay? Take yourself completely out of the, out of the equation and just give yourself to God. Let Him work wonders with you. I, we told Dave, and it was kind of a joke, you know. It, it's his, but I'm awful serious. If your if your niece has an issue with losing that finger, you come talk to her. Let her come talk to me, okay? Because God's not holding me back because of a finger. Oh right, no, I, it's not there. It's gone. I can't count to ninety. I thought I was joking. All right, I mean that's it. I, I can't get to ten. I'm at nine. That's it. I'm stuck. But God is not stopping me because of that. 
God is not going to hold me back because the devil took my finger from me. I don't care. God is not going to stop me because he broke my washer, my dryer, my pump all the same week. It doesn't matter. God is not going to stop me. God is not going to stop Joshua because he took him in a car wreck. God delivered him out of that car wreck. God is not going to take somebody and put them in a situation that he cannot deliver them from. All you need to do is stand strong, be strong, and have faith in this word. Beware of the wolves in sheep clothing. You can tell them by the fruit that they produce. You can tell. You, you can look at yourself right now and determine whether or not you're producing good fruit. Man, y'all come on up. I love you guys. And if you don't take anything else out of it today, out of today's sermon, I just want you guys to know this. Look. There are people that are going to try to take you and, and lead you down the wrong path. They're going to try and take you and, and convince you that everything that they're doing is right and good. Look, man, we're having so much fun. Yeah, we're getting drunk and we're we're four wheeling and mudding and tearing up people's pastures. Man, it's a good time. We don't have a care in the world. They're going to try to convince you that that's right. But you know in your heart it's wrong. Okay? You have caused someone else to say a cuss word when you've torn up their pasture with your four-wheel drive truck. You have caused someone else to stumble. The Bible just told us that's wrong. Don't cause someone else to stumble. Be a leader. Lead, walk, walk the path the way it's meant to be walked in the light. Don't keep weaving in and out of the dark. Stay out of the dark. Okay? Because one of these times you're going to go out and you're going to stay out. The devil's going to grab you. Alright? Stay here. Stay tight. Stay strong. Stay together with people of like faith. People of strong faith. Okay? Let's pray. Most gracious Heavenly Father, we come to you today and we ask for the strength and the wisdom, Father, to fight the devil toe to toe. To be able to tell the bad fruit, Father. To be able to see these people that are trying to deceive us in our everyday lives, Father. We ask for the strength and the wisdom to be able to pick those people out and to be able to turn our backs on them and walk the other way. Father, we all come to you with, with repentance in our hearts, Father. And we ask for you to take our broken spirit and just make us to what you need us to be, Father. Father, we come to you today as moldable clay and we ask you to form us the way you need us to be formed to better your kingdom. Father, we love you and we praise you. And without Jesus Christ, your Son, who died for our sins, we could not be here today doing what it is that we do, and that's loving you, loving each other. In Jesus' holy and precious name, I pray. Amen. Amen. Need to bless the food. Oh. You know what? Who, uh, Thank you.